if you grow it, they will come. That's the idea behind a new business in Tampa called Little Red Wagon Native Nursery. They're in the process of becoming the home to hundreds of butterflies. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us how one woman is sharing her passion with others. Did you know that butterflies taste with their feet? It's one of the many interesting facts you'll learn at this brand new butterfly conservatory. Well, I've always been a nature girl since I was a kid. Anita Camacho has the perfect touch when it comes to corralling butterflies. It's a joyful experience. They're very tranquil to watch. They're not threatening. They don't bite so or sting. Anita is actually an accountant, but she has spent years traveling the world as a hobby studying these delicate creatures. Studying butterflies with large international groups and uh, realized that Tampa didn't really have a whole lot of opportunities um, for butterfly clubs. So during the pandemic, Anita opened Little Red Wagon Native Nursery. The idea is first you bring in the plants, then you introduce the pollinators. This is a quirky stem passion vine. This is a host plant for our native butterfly, the zebra longwing. In the back of the nursery, they are in the process of building a conservatory where families and field trips can immerse themselves with up to 500 of these radiant insects. The largest butterfly in our area is the tiger swallowtail. Anita hopes to inspire others to create their own butterfly gardens by educating guests on what plants to grow at home. There are 125 different species native to the Bay Area. It's just very easy gardening. You don't have to do a lot to your soil. You plant it and the butterflies come. The conservatory is scheduled to be complete this spring. Anita says she couldn't think of a better way to break out of our pandemic cocoon, spread our wings, and fly. And it's just a freedom, a sense of freedom and joy, and I think that we could all use some hope right now, uh, especially. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.